Hey, it is Max here. I have a super cool ManyChat tutorial for you. I want to show you how you can create a re-engagement campaign to yeah, re-engage your subscribers. So how can you actually measure or figure out who is not engaging and how can you send those people a message? And then also if they do not respond to that message, how can you delete them completely? So let's dive in. I first want to explain you why we're going to do all this. So Ultimately, we want to have a list that's 100%, yeah, 100 engaging, right? Like 100% engaging subscribers. People will go nuts for your content that keep clicking, responding, chatting with you in Messenger week after week. But the reality is that people are busy, they get distracted or simply lose interest over time. So that's why we need a re-engagement campaign to ask if people are still interested and unsubscribe the people who are not engaging. And this is great for a couple of things because if someone keeps ignoring your messages, that means that they don't want to receive them. So we're going to make sure that people will keep ignoring us. We're not going to bother them any longer. So we're going to unsubscribe them. And this brings me to the next point. So the next point is that uh, with most marketing automation tools, so for example, with ManyChat, you pay per subscriber, or at least the more subscribers you have, the more expensive it gets. So you wanna have your list clean, engaged, so that it will keep costs low and that you also don't bother people who don't wanna receive your messages at all. So what we're going to do is we are going to create a custom rule that is going to be triggered after 22 days, so 22 days after the last interaction. So this is something really cool because ManyChat is tracking the, the subscribers last interaction so this means the last time that they typed something that they clicked on a button or that they clicked on a quick reply so the last time that they did this that is like captured in this field and we can use this in our custom rule which i'm going to show you in a bit how to do and then we're going to simply ask if we'd still like to receive our content like our tips our tricks or tutorials or whatever it is that you want to send so let's dive into ManyChat, and i want to show you how you can set up these rules so this is the re-engagement campaign rule. So in this example, I'm sending them 22 days after the last interaction. You can also change that to another amount of days. So I like to use 22 days, like, okay, they ignored me for 22 days. Uh, I, I see those as like lost leads. So what I'm doing here, I created a date time based trigger. So the, 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 the rules work like this. So on the left side, we have the triggers. And on the right sides, we have the actions. So when this happens, then this is going to happen. So what I did is I created a date time based trigger. So I did it like this. I clicked here, trigger, date time, and then you can set them uh, how you want. So we did 22 days after the last interaction at 10 in the morning. So this is the field time. So this is the subscribers time. So that if you have subscribers from all over the world, that we're not going to send anything that is like in the middle of the night over there. So I always like to send things at 10 in the morning, lots of open rates then. And what we're going to do then is we're going to send a flow. So we're going to send a re-engagement campaign flow. And I kept this example rather simple. So here we're just simply asking like, hey Max, I noticed we didn't talk for a while. Would you still like to receive some tips about this or that or that? And then people can click either, yes, I would still like to receive them. So then everything's good. They're going back into the sequence. And if they click no, then we're going to unsubscribe them. So I made it super, super easy for people to unsubscribe and set manage yet so that we just keep our list clean. And yeah, that we don't bother anyone anymore. So this is how we do that. People click yes or no, but then we still have one problem. And that is, what do we do with people that also ignore this message? Because they already have been ignoring us for 22 days. Okay, it's quite likely that they're also going to ignore this message, right? So we have to set up one more rule and that is this one. So I call it the list cleaner and we're going to trigger this one 29 days after the last interaction at 10 in the morning. So that's seven days later than the re-engagement campaign. So we gave someone seven days the time to click here, yes or no. And if they still don't click there, then this is going to be triggered also at 10 in the morning. 
And what we're going to do then is we're going to unsubscribe them from the bot. So that's how it works. Let's go over it once from the beginning. So we have this rule here, 22 days after the last interaction at 10 in the morning, we're going to start a flow. And in this flow, we're going to ask if this would still like to receive our tips. They can click either yes or no. If they click yes, then you can push them into a sequence or you can keep sending them messages, whatever. And if they click no, then we're going to immediately unsubscribe them. And then we also tell how they can subscribe back if they like. And people will also ignore this message, then 29 days after the last interaction. So this is seven days later than the re-engagement campaign. At 10 in the morning, we're going to unsubscribe them from the messenger bot. So this is how it works. So you can unsubscribe them here from the messenger bot, but if you like, you could also send a message saying something like, hey, you could automatically unsubscribe uh, because I noticed you didn't open my messages for a while. Uh, click the button below to subscribe back or type start or something like that. So yeah, this is how the re-engagement campaign works. For me, it works really, really well. It's just like an excellent way to keep your list clean and also cost low and this way you also don't bother people who are not responding to your messages anyway okay i hope this was helpful let me know in the comments if you have any questions about this or what your thoughts are in this and if you like the video then give that little thumbs up and also subscribe and then you will see some more cool videos that are going to help you to create an awesome messenger bot okay talk soon